Indeed, Let's man. give the people what they want. Give us a little pat, a little pose. Oh no. We've got the male yeah, fans. Take him to the shop, he's hungry lot. You're getting heavy, boy. Uh, you're you getting heavy. Hey, bulking. <laughs> bulking Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. We don't like anybody, we don't like anyone passing away, but I do think the hype around it always. She's basically a one-hit wonder from the 80s, isn't she? Yeah, she didn't she's even not write, some like... She didn't even write the song. She's not some like protege or some like, you know, oh, she hasn't really made a massive difference to the world. That's why she got no I reckon Doc Cotton of EastEnders was a bigger influence in Les Britain. Les Dennis. Les Dennis. Chris uh, met Les Dennis once. Oh. Is Les Dennis still alive? <laughs> He's still alive! Still alive. <laughs> Les Dennis is still alive! He's dead. I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure Les Dennis is... Les, if you're watching this, we apologise. Yeah, we start with him, death rumours. I've got this picture on my phone, and when my phone was full, I deleted probably 80 pictures of my kid over it. <laughs> Chose to keep it. Can we see? Is that you and Les? Let me, me see. me and Lesa. There's Chris and Les Dennis at Centre Parks. Centre Parks, coming out. That's just before Centre you made love in the jacuzzi, wasn't it? He was coming out Centre Parks with three bags full of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Les. And he was also with... I lean off Coro, and then she went, oh, no, no, go on then, I suppose you want a picture of me. I went, no, you're all right, look. <laughs> Only interested in old Lezza. But me and Les like, oh, so get your family in. No, Les, just, just me, me and you. you. Just me and you, pal. Forget about them. They're dead to me now. It's all about Les, isn't it, Paul Look at these little, tiny feet, though. Beautiful. Let's have a look. I can't get over that. What a little tiny baby. How do you stand up with them feet? Okay, so this is the job. See where the customers put the hose pipe? There is going to be a planter here with gravel in. We're just discussing that now. All this concrete's got to come out. All this lawn, it's all gonna be block paved all in front of the house, or the bungalow, should I say. Up here, new step, two recess manhole lids. Need some drainage down here. It's a bit high on the air brick. So we have to sort all that out. But yeah, it's a big old job. As you can see, the boys are all here. Sean's just arrived with the JCB. He's unloading that. He's got a break this week because Chris is back off his holidays. And we shall get cracking. Okay, so we're rocking and rolling. It's eight o'clock, starting digging. I say Chris is gonna reduce this top level level just to this where the gravel's going, and then we'll dig out this area properly where the hose is, and uh, get it all gone. We've already got a grab booked and ordered, so that's coming. And uh, yeah, we'll start removing this concrete. Boys, the job's going well, innit? It is. Look at this guy here, look. He's absolutely addicted to the Monopoly <laughs> high. <laughs> absolutely addicted. What level are we on? What level? I'm like 600 now. Mate, get that scream. Oh, look at it, Lloyd. Oh, 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 I can't even see. I've got, I've got to shut him down. How first. many dice you got? 
Oh, yeah. About 2,800? Mate, right, listen, he's got 2,000 dice on Monopoly and the guy won't even use them. He's still rolling on the two. <laughs> times times five. Times five, so. <laughs> How many dice you got, Nick? Me? None. Uh, How many you got? About 60. I've got none. <laughs> I've got to that point where you can't win any either. Like, it's just a nightmare. It's terrible. I told you, I feel so. For you guys at home who bothered to download it, I know a few of you did. I swear to you, it, I apologise because it is the most ridiculous. I've seen you all popping up on my so game. Bad, and though, stop robbing me. Go and rob other people. Don't rob me. I'm sick of it. Honest to God, I've just been done dirty. I've, I've got them on the game, I, but then they just absolutely violate him there. But um, yeah, so if you're on the game, I do apologise to you because you've lost your lives to it. But anyways, as it currently stands, we're doing pretty well. Chris is uh, doing a fantastic job. Lovely little dig out to start with. It's all soil, so it's a nice, easy dig out to start with. Like I say, the, the objective today is to get rid of two loads. So we've basically we've got a load there already 100 percent it's only like half past eight nine o'clock um so we've got a lorry coming he's gonna come and take that away and then we're gonna get another load ready and get that away also um so we can only do that say the second lorry is coming in the morning so it gives us a little bit of time to get deal with some of this concrete and also we might end up having a <whistles> sorry just did a bit of a <coughs> bit of a boom there might be a bit of rock or something check that out boys i heard that just a bit of gravel. Or oh, it's just a bit of rock. Yeah, just a bit of rock. That's some strong rock. Yeah, so that's the plan anyway. We're going to um, get some of this concrete out. Basically, get two loads gone today. Well, the second one's going to all seven in the morning, so we'll have a steady day. Um, and then tomorrow, we've got a barrel loader come in. We're going to take the machine up here. We're going to pecker all this this afternoon, get it all peckered into tiny pieces. We'll get a barrel loader that drives. It looks like a tiny little dumper truck. And then Chris will scoop the concrete out, drop it into that dumper truck, and the boys can drive it down and to the front to tip it, because it's too much of a distance to drag, especially if the guy's just freshly rendered his house. So when you, if, I don't know any of you other builders watching, but when you see fresh render, it puts the fear of God in you. It's an absolute nightmare. So um, yeah, that's uh, what we've got to do. I will say as well, Apologise for the videos the last couple of weeks. I've been having problems with the editing, if I'm honest with you. There's, it keeps glitching, and I'll, I'll record a video, and then half the videos won't work. I think we did an iPhone update, and the iPhone, for some reason, if you try and transfer files from iPhone to PC, it's to Windows, it's a complete nightmare. It's such a long process, so we bought a little camera, and we're going to be using that from now on, because it's, yeah, it's, we've been doing it a year now, and it was time to invest in some proper equipment. So, um, yeah, anyway, me and Folds are going to shoot off now, go fetch this breaker. And uh, we shall continue from there. Chris is always, he's already, it's what time are we on? Nine. Nine o'clock, Chris needs his lunch. Turn around and show the people, I've done two hours work. In defense, we have got, uh, we've already got a load there, if not a bit I more. I work on time, I work on work done. Yeah. And my work says, it's time for a somewhere, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris is going to hit to shop, me and Colin are going to pop up to mine and grab the breaker. Breaker. Oh, 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 Let's give the people what they want. Give us a little pat, a little pose. Oh, no. We've got the male there fans. Take him to the shop, he's hungry, look. To the shop. Are you getting heavy, boy? Uh, are you getting heavy? Hey, bulking. It's bulking. Bulking season. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've just arrived back at HQ. I'm gonna load this horrible, gigantic, 200 kilogram breaker into my van. There she is. What a nightmare. <laughs> Can't wait, can we, Folds? Hate this. Come on, let's get it done. Right, so, we are just on our travels to pick this uh, breaker up on the way back, and I've had, so, about two months ago, I got an email off a, a customer saying, um, asking about um, a repair job that I'd done some patio and fencing for her. Um, and I remember at the time, looking back, I looked at it and thought, I didn't do that job. Um, and then I've, she's messaged me again last night quite abruptly, like, can you contact me with no further delay? Um, blah, 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 you need to come and sort this job out. So I kind of checked the address again on Google Maps and I'm like, I haven't done that job which I emailed her back and explained. So then she left the mobile number on the email and I've just rang her. It's not far from where we're working, luckily. 
and she's absolutely adamant that, um, sorry, my phone's just started ringing and I don't know where it is to stop it. Where's the phone gone? Yeah, so, sorry, the phone was ringing, it interrupted me. Yeah, so she's, I've just rang her to sort of, did you get the email to clarify? And um, she's adamant I did the job. She's like, no, it was you, it was you, you've done the job. I said, I've looked on Google Maps, I haven't done the job. Um, but I'm willing to come and have a look and, and see you. And um, yeah, and, and she's like adamant, like quite rudely and abruptly. Like, I think she thinks I'm like having her on and I don't want to fix the job. Um, but I genuinely didn't do the job. So me and Connell decided we're just going to go and I've just said to her, I'll, I'll pop around to see you so you can see me like it's not whoever's done that job it isn't me they must have pretended to be me it has happened before so um yeah well um i think that was her just ringing back but i'm gonna pretend not to get the call and just turn up because i think she's gonna tell me not to come around but i'm quite interested in as to what's gone on um obviously as a business i don't want other people pretending to be us um which is it has happened a few times so um people will do that to sort of like they'll go off our reputation and they'll like take advantage of like vulnerable people um so yeah we'll 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 pop round and uh, see what's happening okay so I couldn't really film while we were around there but we just nicked around and had a look it's not too bad the gate they've had a gate and some fencing installed and I don't think it's properly treated the gate and it's just warped slightly in the weather over the winter so it started coming away from the frame it won't close properly however I think we've discovered who it was who's done it and uh, she'll be contacting them but I had to pop round just to show who I am and and what's going on because uh she, yeah she was absolutely adamant that, <laughs> that we'd done it so uh i'm innocent happy days back to work okay so i'm having a little switch over now the boy's gonna put the breaker on i'm gonna get all this concrete pecker rolls in it chris has decided the best form of attack is to start peckering from the top down and then when we come to barrel load it tomorrow we can drive the barrel load up we'll call it a dumper for for people we can drive the dumper up and down over the concrete as what tends to happen is when it's soil or mud if it does rain it tracks it all turns it all to sludge makes it really difficult to use so um that's what we're going to do now let's get it smashed up okay so while chris is peckering we are seizing the opportunity to come back to the job the other week that you guys saw us do and get some sand brushed in. So um, it's looking good, a few little damp spots. Well, it, the weather at the minute, it, if you can see. So we're just trying to get it done while we've got the opportunity. I know what will happen, it'll get to the end of the week and we need to have done it and something will come up and it always does. So while we've got a three hour or half an hour, we'll, uh, we'll get this sand in. So yeah, I'll flick over to a time lapse get it all brushed in and then we will show you the job completed finally. tried to do a time lapse there as you can see however I don't have a tripod and it kept blowing over <laughs> and as you'll see on the time lapse I'll leave it in for it's quite funny so yeah we brushed it all in and that's it flick over show you the finished job Okay, so our first grab lorry has arrived. Set this pile away. Chris is just leveling up this front garden now, finishing up, getting some more of it out. Plenty of muck here. 
and as you can see on the time lapse he's gone down here and what he's done is we've peckered holes we've pepper potted it all the way so what will happen is when we come in to dig it out it will come away in small sections like this making it easier to get out the driveway for the lads luckily we went and brushed that job in as it literally started raining five minutes later i'm hoping it's not too dramatic the rainfall as i do not want this job to go to shit which is what happens it turns into a load of slush and a nightmare a bit noisy we need to get another load ready before five o'clock or four o'clock so we need to get this all out and away stop pulling this out First grab away, as you've just seen. A lot done today already. There's probably all right. We, we thought there was one load to go, but it's looking like there's already two here, to be honest. So we've not got a lot left to do. We can't dig out too much today because what happens is you end up with such a big pile that you then can't get in. And then if it's too far, if it goes too far back, the, the grab can't reach. So it causes problems. You end up having to try and move it or frantically to get it on the lorries or double stacking it and it just it's a waste of time so um that's the plan then i think this is just going to attempt to do this bit of concrete depending on how we get on uh, and then we're just going to give it a bit of a knock about get a load ready for the morning i've got a lorry coming at half past seven so look at these up, tiny feet though beautiful let's have a look <laughs> i can't get over that what a little tiny baby how do you stand up with them feet I just started recording. What if you never? Let's just talk about this now. Chris just said, "Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to poo again?" Explain, Chris. Just would, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if you never had to have a shit. Like extra yeah, but again. if you were, you just explode, wouldn't you? What do you mean? You just sort of it just turned to vapor? Yeah, you sweated body just it. Went into your body in that rip. I don't think it'd end well. Well, basically, everything was the same, but you just didn't have a crap. Do you reckon? Well, well that means you just couldn't, you just didn't... How much time, That's what I'm saying, all the time in you your life, your life, if you live 90 years, how much do you waste on pooing? Five years, I reckon. Oh, it's a long time, especially mm. if you tap magazine or paper. Monopoly, on, Monopoly boys. Monopoly, on, Monopoly. While on the pooper. Yeah, Snake. Yeah. Snake, oh. back in the day. Yeah, on, yeah, on the Guinness team four as well, you've got to force that bad boy out. Mm. Shower, maybe, really maybe he's got a point. If you didn't poo, shower and piss, I bet you'd have another 10 years on your life. There you go. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Chris's philosophy of the week. That's why he lives so long. <laughs> Just full of pure dust and rage. <laughs> so, we're all, well, we dug out, we're done. It's raining, it's horrible. We've got a load gone. We've got easily got a second load red air. Got a lorry coming at half past seven in the morning to take that away. And then we shall continue. It's the problem is driving for now his machine, it'll just track it into dirt, into mud. So we're gonna call it. So the lorry will come, get rid of that, that'll be taken away. And we'll just continue with it. So first job of the morning is to get rid of that load, and then we're gonna start taking this concrete out from here, get rid of that concrete load, and then we'll just finish having a little scrape around, reduce it in the right places, make sure it's all reduced to the correct levels. Um so hopefully by the end of tomorrow it'll be completely dug out 
four grabs away and we'll get some stone delivered 40 odd ton on wednesday we'll get that all in we've got a roller coming this time driveway is too big for a whacker so the roller's coming in look at these two look first job they've done this today isn't it been here all day giggling like school girls playing monopoly Bert's the dice baron. Hey, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't you. Straight off holiday. Yeah, but the holiday's obviously done you some good because you've done three times what you normally do. <laughs> Ooh, to be fair. Ooh. Not very nice. Wasn't very nice. I'm no. upset and I'm shocked. It was a bit passive aggressive. Chris, I apologise. No, that's always the same. I thought it would come back and everything would be different. <laughs> he's been a particularly angry little Herbert today. Oh, he's missing her. That's why he's been quiet. Here's one for you Sinead O'Connor. I'm glad she's dead. Rest in peace. But Wait. she sang one song. It was a banger, but she didn't even write it. Prince wrote it. So basically, Prince wrote it. she's a loser. Yeah. Rest in peace. I do like a voice. We don't like anybody. We don't like anyone passing away, but I do think the hype around it always. She's basically a one hit wonder from the 80s, isn't she? Yeah, she didn't she's even not write, some like. Didn't even write the song. She's not some like protege or some like, you know, oh, she hasn't really yeah. made a massive difference to the world. That's why she got no I reckon now. Doc Cotton, off his standards, was a bigger. Influence in Les Britain. Dennis. Les Dennis. Chris uh, met Les Dennis once. Is Les Dennis still alive? <laughs> He's still alive. Les Dennis is still alive. Dead. I know for a fact. I'm pretty sure Les Dennis is. Les, if you're watching this, we apologise. Yeah, we start with him. Death yeah, rumours. I've got this picture on my phone, and when my phone was full, I deleted probably 80 pictures of my kid over it. <laughs> Chose to keep it. Can we see? Is that you and Les? Let That's me see. Me and Lesa. There's Chris and there's Dennis at Centre Parks. Centre Parks coming out. That's just before you made love in the jacuzzi, wasn't it? He was coming out Centre Parks with three bags full of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Les. And he was also with Eileen off Coro. And then she went, no, go on then. I suppose you want a picture of me. I went, no, you're on. Right, <laughs> Only interested off. in old Les, huh? But me and Les like, oh, so get your family in. No, Les. Just, just me and you. you. Me and you, pal. Forget about them. They're dead to me now. It's all about Les, isn't it, folks, eh? Morning everybody, it is, I think, Tuesday morning. I'm on site, waiting for the grab to arrive. She'll be here between half seven and eight, so I wanted to get her a bit early just to make sure we get gone what we need gone. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy up to now, the job's going well. I think sometimes, believe it or not, these bigger jobs are a little bit easier, so to speak, at this stage than the smaller jobs. In a sense that if you've got a machine and you're trying to swing it around on a 15 square meter driveway it's a bit of a nightmare sometimes whereas on these bigger jobs you've got room to maneuver and stack things and so it can make things a little bit easier um also to elaborate a little bit more on the scenario yesterday with the fencing and the other contractor thing um yeah it's something that's happened numerous times over the years that we get other people like impersonating us um quite frighteningly really we literally get customers ringing us up like oh you were supposed to start a job today or and you've not turned up and, and stuff like this and we're like i don't know who you are um i even had one incident where i got a letter through from trading standards um that i needed to rectify this work i'd done at this address and obviously they didn't give me contact details bar the actual address so i had to just go around to his house something to do with a front door step or something and um yeah i got there knocked on the door and the customer's like or the homeowner was like who are you and i'm like I've had this letter through and we had a chat and yeah, it turned out it was somebody impersonating us again that they'll sort of, I don't know how they do it, but they'll sort of, I suppose the white van, white van man sort of thing and they'll just sort of door knock or whatever and then tell people that they're us and to look at our sort of reviews and so on. And, and some people, some people will, uh, will kind of fall for that. So yeah, I suppose just to be clear that you guys on YouTube know, but there's only us boys. We've got the two vans that are sign written. If I'm not there, it ain't my job, unless I'm away on holiday, which is once a year. So yeah, a bit of a bit frightening sometimes. But um, yeah, these things happen, and up to now we've been okay with it, and it's not caused many problems. So yeah, like I say, today is getting, uh, hopefully getting the rest of this driveway dug out. We kind of did the easy bit yesterday. Down the side of this house is gonna be a bit of a problem with the machine maneuvering it trying to get this concrete out so we'll see how that goes or you guys will see how that goes and um 
yeah, we'll just continue with it. And like I say, the plan today is get it all dug out and everything away. We've got two or three grab lorries coming today. Um, and then uh, tomorrow we want to get two full loads of stone in, get that all knocked about and get it... Uh, get it compacted and uh, yeah ready for material material delivery on the thursday morning so uh yeah all i don't know the term for it all uh all hands on deck i suppose is one so yeah um again i hope you guys are enjoying the video this one's gonna be a bit of a bigger video um i think yesterday i recorded 20 minutes on the monday so this is going to be a lot more significant i don't like to try and space fill it and, and i don't want to bore you guys i just try and keep it sort of authentic and record when we can record obviously it's quite difficult when one of us is away to record it's also you know the weather's a factor um and also being honest with you i said yes the other the, on the other video like the weather and stuff can have a bit of a knock-on effect where you feel a bit crappy and then it's very hard to sort of record and have a laugh and, and be enjoying it and, and making it fun for you guys you know if you're in a foul mood it's very difficult to switch your camera on and just go like hey guys hey you know <laughs> when you're wet through and freezing cold and covered in mud it's it's sometimes it's hard to have a laugh and i don't really want to piss and moan on these videos so yeah anyway we'll hop out this van shortly and uh, we'll get rock and rolling as we do Okay, so that's that grab just gone as you've seen. However, the machine has just ground to a halt. We've ran out of diesel, so I'm gonna make a mad dash now and go pick some diesel up as quick as we can. Okay, so we are back with some fuel. We've got another lorry coming in about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half, so we're just getting another load ready now. Chris is just pulling it back. I'm gonna dig all this area, reduce this, get all this dug out, get another load at the front ready. We've got another one at three o'clock then, so we'll do that side plenty to be getting on with folds it is doing his best by hand to get the little fiddly bits we can't get the machine how are you feeling folds it like, like a million dollars monopoly rich bro <laughs> so yeah we shall continue cracking on as we do and uh, get this job dug out okay so express tool layer here got a very noisy dog and uh, they are dropping off our roller and our skip loader. That's going to help us. We're going to drive up and down here with it. Get this concrete all the way down here onto the front down there. It's quite a run with wheel barrows. It'll be quite stressful. So we're going to build like a ramp here with soil and then we'll use the skip loader down here. But we'll see how it goes. Making good progress on the front. I think the front's about done to be honest. In terms of dig out. So I'm quite happy with that. So Chris has had to run his van in to have a MOT or something done in our service. So Connell has decided to take over the machine, which is highly amusing. You put batteries in that. Okay. You put batteries in it. Yeah. Going a bit slow, mate. It's yeah, slow and steady. Wins the race. There you go. He's doing all right. You're doing all right, aren't you? Chris's job, we do sign. Hey mate, he'd love you to have his job. Do not let him know you can do this, otherwise you're in big trouble. You'll never get him out of the van. That's why we'll play daft when he... <laughs> it ain't rocket science. It's just tedious. Operation get the driveway out without damaging the render has begun. As you see, Ryan's this is barrel loading here. So we're gonna barrel it up, tip it. Obviously, this pile will be gone soon. 
this pile will all be gone so we can start tipping in the mouth of the driveway again we're going to tip it all here get rid of bit of this wall to come down and chris is just down here now digging out and backing up We are finally making good progress. Grab lorry's back. Plenty of concrete and muck here going away. The lads up there just handballing the last bit of concrete in as it's, it's too difficult to machine, too dangerous. And then Chris will come back with the machine and we'll lower this, take this mud out, get that on the front as well. Um, we've got another grab coming about three o'clock this afternoon. So I probably won't get that one in the footage as I've got to get back and do some quotey bits and contracting. Um, but yeah, so we've got this load going and then another one later on today. Got some cool toys, got the barrel loader, as you can see, making a right, it's so bloody noisy, I can't bear the thing. Bloody Deffinger. So you've got that, and then we've got this uh, roller here, which is really uh, going to come in handy for the roadstone tomorrow. So, it is looking good. Things are on the up, weather's old out, up to now. We shall see. So we're slowly getting there. However, this area has turned into a nightmare. It's just a mass of like old redundant clay pipes. Like this is just a square drain here. Caught the pipe there. Probably needs to come out. It's not really doing anything. There's an old redundant pipe here that runs to here. So unfortunately we have to dig by hand all the way around them. We think this is the only actual working pipe we've got a foul drain here that runs down and into this manhole so we're gonna have to again Bert's is just clearing around them all by hand then there's another pipe that runs from this manhole to that manhole so it's just a bloody nightmare there's something under here from here to here so yeah we're just trying to navigate around them but obviously the machine causes too much damage so i think unfortunately this area might have to be handled around this back uh, so it's going to slow us down a little bit um, but yeah we're, we're 80% of the way there unfortunately the next 20% is going to be a little bit slower than we'd envisioned so uh, such is life we'll crack on still breaking it back happy days I do not think I've ever seen so much muck come out of a driveway this size it's unbelievable <laughs> we've already had what are we on we've had three loads away and I think there's comfortably <laughs> Here we are. Again, I'm not sure the camera will do it justice, but it's absolutely huge, that pile. It's massive. There's already more than a load there. Absolutely insane. Chris and the boys are still at it. I'm about to shoot off. Like I said, I've got some uh, quoting and paperwork to do. So a couple of contracts, some new jobs to book in. Got some, what we're just booking in, a uh, big driveway that's near my place and uh, 
some customers got a real steep grass bank and on it all tearing with sleepers and that's going to be a bit of a faffy job probably a couple of well a week and a half at least just working out the logistics of it but um looking forward to that something a little bit different and um, this is going to be a backbreaker this job absolutely soul destroy <laughs> so um yeah we shall uh we'll crack on i'll shoot off say we've got a grab lorry coming shortly to come and take away some of this and uh i'll see you guys in the morning the next day well disaster has struck I don't know if you guys can see, but it's absolutely lagging it down. It has chucked it down all night and all this morning. I woke up about three o'clock in the morning and heard it had the bedroom window open. So I dare say that means our site is going to be a complete swamp, um, which means a load more work today. However, it is what it is. This is good old Great Britain, as they call it. So uh, yeah, we'll carry on with it all. We'll scrape some of the loose mud off and we'll drain some of the water off and hope for the best. It's just an ever ongoing battle at the minute. It is what it is. So uh, yeah, it's currently 7 a.m. Just sat at Costa Coffee, gonna grab a coffee. Just gonna meet a friend of mine uh, for a quick coffee and then uh, get to work. Ladies, tailors, I'll see you all there. So as I feared, Obviously in Nottingham it's quite a clay based city. So this ain't good. It's going to cause mayhem. So what I'm gonna to have to do is well what we'll do is we'll dig some drainage ditches. Probably here looks like the lowest point. Get this water to drain off, bucket it out, get rid of it, and then take scrape this top off. But oh honestly I don't get no worse. You know, at the minute, it is hard to stay positive in this industry. I can tell you that much. Right, so it's about 10 o'clock-ish. It's our fifth load, I believe. We're all losing the will to live. It's an absolute nightmare. Everything's turned to... <coughs> crap. We've scraped a good majority of the rubbish off, so it's, it's plenty low enough, which means we have to put more stone in. So we're just repairing some drains that were damaged underneath anyway. And we'll start bringing stone up, and we need to get some stone on top of this rapidly, because it's just going to keep on getting worse and worse. The more you tread about, the more you drive about, the worse it gets. So we need a sub base. But uh, yeah, we're we'll making tracks, not going to lie. I'm trying to stay positive for you all, but yeah, it's testing, very testing. So as the days continued, I've gone to full on curtains now. Full on Simon Cow. It wasn't intentional. You lot laughing at me about the headband, this is why. I'm trying to grow my hair a bit longer and this is what happens if you don't wear the headband. So I'd have rather wear an headband and get the pistol cut out of there than have curtains. curtains. 90s style boy band curtains. Bring it back, bro. Get some Bring, highlights. Get some highlights, a little bit in the fringe. I might have a picture of something like that knocking about. So, so anyway, we're, um, we've had some stone delivered. Like I said, we've been battling this wet weather. However, the sun has come out with a vengeance. It's red hot, so it's dried a lot of it out. So we're getting there. We've managed to stone up to about that pot drain there. And we've just got another load of stone coming now and tipping in. And we're going to uh, get that all pulled in and moved and in on the job. He's just arriving now. We are making some headway. God, I'm having a bad hair day. Hair bands are going back in tomorrow. So, just about managed to get it all stoned up now, the side of the house. It's looking good. We're just attempting to do the front. So, we're just waiting for another load of stone now, which is coming. Get all this infill knocked about, there's a bit more down here. There's probably some more actually down here. To be fair, it's about 15 inch thick. Tons and tons of stones. It's gonna become totals about 45, 50 tons going in here. Um so yeah, it's been a tough old day. But we're getting there slowly. So uh, plenty of things to do tomorrow. We're gonna to start work on these edgings here, get the stone all knocked about in and compacted properly. 
drainage alterations, recessed manhole needs to be built, and chambers, bits of concrete to break out. It was too wet today to get the extension lead out, so all this has got to come out. And also this area here, I'm going to break this corner out here, some drains inside here, we need to be careful. Of. Same with this one, it's got the foul pipe running through it, so it's going to be a bit of a time consuming job. New drain in here, go straight into that pot drain pipe straight into this chamber here so considering that palava this morning not a bad day all in all you can see the sun has come out everything's a lot drier than it was the road is absolutely ditched I'm not cleaning it today we'll have a good go at it tomorrow Friday I'm not bothering we'll sweep it down a little bit but I'm not washing it today it might rain again tonight there's absolutely no point a lot of damage this tarmac very very badly the broken up concrete air tarmac here just old crappy tarmac so we'll take quite a large area out here and re-tarmac all that in so don't know what it is but some people just love overkill driveways like that is just insane like i'm not complaining it's my job happy days but like you literally get eight cars on it well talk the side eight or ten cars like it's just crazy like i like a bit of grass if i'm honest in a flower bed myself but yeah what can you do i do as i'm told now nah, i think people just get sick of the maintenance so i think this is obviously this is originally at half lawn it's just a lot to do but um right the show must go on we shall continue and again apologies if i've not really video a lot today um, it's been quite difficult, the weather's been appalling, we've had to all get stuck in, so we've all been on the trowels, on the shovels, and it's been tough, so yeah, there we go. Morning everybody, I think it's Thursday morning, I'm not sure, probably is. We are rocking and rolling, as you can see in the background there, we have got plenty, plenty of roadstone, another 15 tonne was dropped off about 3, 4pm last night, so we just left it, we'll get on with it this morning. So today we are moving the rest of the roadstone. Chris is just on that now. And then uh, we are going to put the path edges in the front. We've got some, let me just turn his camera around. Gotta break this footing out, trim this wall back, break this footing out, put the new edgings in, cut the tarmac. We've got some concrete around the back that I showed you yesterday to sort out. Just get the sub base ready. We're gonna start laying tomorrow, which is a massive bath as it's Friday, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, no one likes doing all graft on a Friday, do they? Have a bloody achy back all weekend. But it's unfortunately what's uh, what's on the table. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, steady day really. Have a day to catch up on things with the weather. Ideally, we wanted to lay the driveway today, but it's just not what's happened. It's too big. Uh, and the weather's held us back a little bit. But peed it down last night. It's nice and sunny today, so I think we're having a good day. Yeah, we will crack on. I've now been sent to Greg's for coffees which I'm getting a bit tired of because I seem to be the one that gets, that gets that has to go. Yeah, no one else wants to put their hand in the pocket, so I'm getting a bit tired of it. However, it is Folds' round today. Ah, it is. We stung, uh, stung Bert's for a round yesterday. First one in five years. First one in five years. Look at him, look at the guilt on him. You, you didn't want to no, me. It's a shame. Isn't it? That is disgusting and despicable behaviour. You must have had, I bet you've had 2,000 coffees and you've bought about three. Yeah, I ain't up buying about four rounds a week. It cost me about 30 quid. So, anyway, let's get cracking. Chris is going to get his stone knocked about. We're going into the shop and then we'll come back and see where we've got to. So, the boys are busy breaking this concrete out around this drain. Did a cracking job. Very difficult to try not to smash it to bits and put the birds under pressure now by watching him. Yeah, yeah. On camera, I'm sure he won't fail me. Come on! He's got it. Then we're going to come down here, do this one, get this little bit out, stone that up. As you can see, Chris is now near enough knock that stone about. It's amazing how much you get through in it. There's, there's eat, what we had, two, three, 16 ton loads, and my maths off the top of my head is terrible, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So, um, yeah, it's got to be close to 50 ton on it. 
so it's just a ridiculous amount of road stone on this job to be honest I didn't depend on it being that much the problem we had was because of the wet weather it, uh, you end up with this slop on the top so you have to reduce it again to get the slop off the top which means another load of muck going away and another load of stone to bring that level back up so realistically that's probably cost us the best part of like 700 pounds really for a full ton of st uh, full load of stone and another grab lorry yeah you're looking like 300 300 for the yeah about 700 pounds so yeah expensive day in the rain such as life I like working for free it's what i do got the short end of the stick didn't we folder you always do brother cleaning or repairing the poo drain it's not the most glamorous of jobs what we have done is though we've pushed the hose into the new drain over here which has got a steady flow of water as when we opened it up it had a rather large dookie sat there staring wow, at what? us what that could have been like guinness world record that maybe. could have been a guinness world record do you know what in this job nothing to do with this customer or any previous customer that's been used on youtube videos thank you very much however I've had some of the circumferences <laughs> of, no, I saw of nuggets we have found in our life, like the term bust open springs to mind. Yeah. Like there's no way, I'm not lying, I've seen some that thick. That thick. You know they're bleeding after that. 100% sting 100%. on me. 100% blood up tissue, mate. Or that one that was perfectly round, like a cannonball. Yeah, <laughs> some come out of like a tennis ball. Like literally round. I'm like, what is going on in the world? What are people eating? I'm just jealous because mine's always like a Mr. Whipper. Ugh. It's just, it's bad news, mate. So anyway, back to the job. And yeah, we're just putting another course, a brick on this man on now. Connor's just applying the bed. We're going to put them on, joint them up, blah, 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 blah. Wash all the drains through, clean them out and get on. Meanwhile, the cretin, we call ourselves the A team, by the way. The B team over there are uh, doing the edgings and talking just Rubbish. drivel, constant drivel. So we're staying out of the way. We shall continue and get this done. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so that is us complete on that. The A-Team have done it again. So we've just brought it up. Well, one side was damaged, so it's one course up really. So if you look at the level now where it currently sits at, when we put the frame on, which is up there, flat plastic frame there, that'll sit on top of that and that'll bring us up to our height so under the block paving they'll run flush with the block paving and we'll set that lid to that so that's the job done i have a horrible suspicion i've got some form of excrement on my hands nice open wounds there this is why i constantly feel like crap <laughs> i've got like dying or something some sort of poisoning but what's it was it people used to get when they were like pirate scurvy <laughs> got scurvy so yeah Fun and games. Let's go see what them guys are up to. Okay, so edges are going in. Stones all in nicely now, knocked around. Man all set. Just need to take a bit of stone out from this area here and we'll top up. We see around the manhole, it slightly dips in. So we're gonna just put some stone around there, level it through on the rakes. Then we'll start the uh, palaver of compacting all this. Say it's absolutely ridiculous. So we are ready to rock and roll. Fuel up the whacker. Stones knocked about ready, manholes are in. Here we go. Flick over to a time lapse. Get this bad boy whackered. It's going to take a couple of hours because it is massive. We like to go over it so many times. So it has to be done correctly. Okay, so whackering's underway. Boys, we've got all these curbs in here. Curbs, edgings, sorry. We're just knocking the stone about now. And like I say, comes the tax, oop, task of whackering this bad boy here. So, get in there. Tarmac. Tarmac's absolutely knackered because it's just ancient tarmac, it's really old. So we're gonna have to do quite a considerable amount of work on the pavement free of charge. As we do because of course we love doing stuff for free and uh yeah fold his top whacker today like always yep starting to look better down this side already look bit smoother the stone whackers brilliantly beautifully 
I'll get back here tomorrow and get some blocks laid. I'll leave you in the Cape of Lands and my mate folds it. Morning everybody, Nick at BMP. It is Friday morning and we're here bright and early. As you can see, Johnny's have arrived and we are unloading the blocks and sand as unfortunately we have to lay some blocks today. So yeah, I've been here since about 7.30, about what well, about 7, 7.30. We're just unloading the sand now. You can see the driver lifts the bags. It'll be alright. Bring me underneath it. Can't kill him, it's like a Terminator. And there you go, that's how we do it. We spread the sand, save us messing around. And we'll get it, uh, get it knocked about, whackered and laid. Okay, so Chris and the boys are shifting the sand. Gonna get it all in, knock it all about like this, rake it and then whacker it with a compactor off to about an inch thick. Set of bars, get it screeded, get it laid. Not going too bad this morning, we're on about half eight, nine o'clock ish. Bit of a slog today, unfortunately, as I've said. Fridays, it's not what you really want. But, such is life. So, in a minute, we'll flip over, probably get. I'll video a bit of the whacker in, I won't time lapse it. Um, and then, We'll screed it and time lapse that and lay it with a time lapse as well. So, yeah, um, looking good. Right, so we've been screening now for about 40 minutes. It's well underway. As you guys can see at home, it is absolutely massive, soul destroying. <laughs> Weather's mm, not looking too good. So unfortunately today, we've got to lay blocks till we run out or get to that house. So that is what it is. Rock and roll, eh?
Okay, so as you've seen the time lapse, we've been screeding, we've been laying. Got a fair bit done. It's looking good. Connell and Ryan are just finishing up screeding this bottom end now. I've got a bit too much sand in here, so we're gonna have to pull it out and put it down the side of the house for Monday. We're nearly there. If we get cracked on, what time are we on? One o'clock, could get done for half two-ish, if we make a move. Okay, so it's a bit late in the day for a Friday, but we still need to get from here to there laying. John A's have just arrived with the second load. It's about, what is it, two or two folder? Oh my God, no one wants to wear this late on a Friday, especially at graph. So we're gonna get stuck in now, go to the time lapse, let's get this laid and let's get home for the weekend, and see our families. Okay, so that is us done for the day, as you've just seen. It's all laid up to the house now. Don't take long, it's funny, isn't it? It takes all day to lay a job like that. When the block's come at three o'clock, it takes 20 minutes. <laughs> Weird. So yeah, it's all in and done, can't complain. And that is us for another week. Hopefully the weather's better next week. Looking, It's looking good on the forecast, isn't it, Folder? Right, Meant to be better, we've just got to lay this side up now. Okay, it's all finished up, man old set, and so on. So nearly there. So, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Week, week, week. <laughs>